And here are five things that you need to know for today. A Bay City Commissioner raising concerns about outages during a winter storm. Christopher Gerard asked what can be done to prevent future outages? Friday's outage it happened shortly after five at night and power for many restored around midnight. Gerard says that Bay City is fortunate enough to have a dedicated crew to have that power on in just a few hours. That's compared to other places who were without power for days. Catholic Charities of Shiawassee and Genesee County is preparing for the construction of the Sacred Heart Veteran Village in Flint, which will have 12 to 14 tiny homes for homeless veterans as well as a community center. City committing $400,000 to the project. The groundbreaking is set for June. We're learning more about a man behind a viral moment all caught on camera. He was spotted crying after the Lions playoff win. It's happening last Sunday. The longtime fan says he was thinking about his father who helped build Fort Field and wanted to go off a playoff game, uh, wanted to go to a playoff game with his son. He died 20 years ago. The Lions faced the Bucks Sunday afternoon in Detroit. Bay City's Knights of Columbus is having a free throw championship today. It's open to kids 9 to 14. It's really meant to give kids a chance to practice healthy competition and sportsmanship. It's at Boys and Girls Club in Bay City at 5. Parents need to fill out an entry form and return it or just uh, bring it with you to the event. We're diving into the rich history of Bay County this morning by taking you inside the Bay County Historical Society. It's a nonprofit that introduces several new events this winter that you don't want to miss out on and keep an eye out for their annual Educators Summit that takes place at the museum next Thursday. TV5's Lauren Piesco has been at the museum all morning long, giving us a look and a tour of some of the history right here in Mid Michigan. Yeah, we're going to check in with her right now. So, Lauren, good morning. What's going on? Blake Sierra, good morning, and we are here in the Historical Museum of Bay County, and like you mentioned, their Educator Summit is next Thursday. I'm here with our Education Coordinator, Sam Fitzpatrick, and you're going to tell us a little bit more about the Educator Summit, but first, tell me about the room we're in now. This museum really goes on forever. <laughs> it does. It always surprises people how much we have and how much space we have. So this is our main gallery. It's called Trails Through Time, and this is a broad overview of Bay County history, everything from the Anishinaabe Bay peoples, the Native Americans, up through early European settlements, mm -hmm. um, lumbering. Uh, we talk about some 20th century industry. Uh, we also talk a bit about the building's history because this used to be the Bay City National Guard Armory, which is why there's a ambulance yeah. from 1914 behind us here. Uh, we talk about architecture, the kit home industry. Uh, we talk a little, little bit more about military history, agriculture. It's kind of a smorgasbord of Bay County yeah. history, and there's a lot. Um, so with our Educator Summit, we're going to have two of these. The first one is going to be January 25th. That's next Thursday. These are free events for anybody that considers themselves an educator. The point of it is to kind of... Uh, bring awareness to the building and our educational programming and what we could be doing too with collaborations, with field trips, with other offsite programs. Yeah. Um, and anybody from K through 12, um, an educator that's K through 12, college, after school, special needs, adult ed. Um, I'm using the term educator broadly because I yeah. have to educate a broad array of people here. So anybody's welcome. It's a tour of our facilities, a little bit of history, what we have, and maybe get some collaborative ideas going too and just kind of bring awareness of what we are um we hey, have an oh. opportunity for local teachers i was going to say i mean you get a lot of field trips in like you were mentioning earlier so i'm sure you know they would love to hear about that opportunity absolutely um teachers uh teacher aides um like i said i'm using the term educator loosely so uh, typical K through 12, but also if you're at an after school program, even a Cub Scout, Boy Scout, Girl Scout leader, um, what anything in the educational realm, just because I have to educate everybody from preschool to senior citizens. Yeah. So um, anybody that is an educator is welcome to attend. These are free. There's no RSVPs or anything. Um, it's going to be between 3 and 5 p.m. And then we have a second date in April, on April 15th, which is the exact same thing. Um, 
for you art lovers out there, we do a program with Studio 23 called Art and History. Um, that's going to be the 23rd. That's next Tuesday between 6 and 9 p.m. here in the Heritage Room at the museum. Um, and we have an instructor come over from Studio 23. And it's about a three-hour program where I do a little brief presentation on the history of what we're painting. In this case, it's going to be the Friendship Ring in Winona Park. Okay. Um, and then the instructor will teach you how to paint it. And uh, it is BYOB. It's 21 and up. So you're allowed to bring your own alcohol. It's, we used to call it sip and swirl. Um, but well, yes. Sam, I am so sorry to cut you off. I know there are so <laughs> many events we want to get to, so much we want to mention, but we'll have all those details once again on our website as well at WNEM.com. Thank you, Sam, for giving us a great tour of the My museum pleasure. this morning. <laughs> if you guys want to learn more, once again, just visit our website, but live in Bay City, Lauren Piesco for TV5, sending it back to you guys. All right, Lauren, thank you. I love how passionate Sam is. He has so much to say because there is so much to do there. Yeah. Uh, so it's nice for us to get educated on the history that's right here, uh, right up under our nose. Yeah, the Bay City Armory Building is what it was. So, ah. so cool to hear that and all the old artifacts. So, yeah. pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so outside this morning, Matthew, we.